Hello. Hello, Nolan. You got me. Oh, hey, Nolan. It's uh, it's Roy. I live down the street from you. Oh, yes. Yep, and uh, I noticed uh, those Halloween decorations in your yard. Yes. And they look really similar to the ones that were stolen from my yard last year. No, sorry about your luck. I've yeah. had them for years. Oh, I don't know, because they sure look just like the ones that someone stole from me. Are you sure you guys weren't, you know, coming to my yard and stealing my decorations? <laughs> Well, why don't you come and see me? No, I don't. I don't need to steal. What is your problem? Well, I don't know. It just seems really suspicious that you have the exact same decorations that were stolen from me last year. Buddy, uh, these decorations were given to me by my next door neighbor ten years ago. Oh, a likely story. I don't story. know where you've been. I've been here for thirty years. Oh, I've been here for. Oh, that doesn't mean you can steal my decorations. I've only been here for I ten. I didn't steal your. Crap. Hello. Hey, Nolan, I was just kidding earlier. I'm actually with the water company. Fuck you. You've done piss me off. Oh, no, no. Fuck I'm just, you. I'm calling to let you know we're going to be doing some work on your yard. No, you're not. Uh, yes, we are. Uh, we got to do some work on your water pipes. We're upgrading the pipes and getting Not out. in my yard. Well, no, no. I'm saying because you have all those Halloween decorations up, we're not going to make you take them all down. We're going to dig underneath and go from, from the bottom to get to your pipes. I don't like the way you're handling any part of this, pal. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not us- I don't usually do customer service. I usually just work on the pipes. Well, you've but, got a bad fucking attitude. Well, don't yell at me, Jesus. Uh, I, we're just we're gonna dig a hole in the street out in front of your house. No, we'll- you you call me and accuse me of stealing something, and now you want to do something in my yard? Kiss my ass. I, I was just trying to lighten the mood. That's all. everyone you're listening to the snowplow show this is episode 822 today is october 26 2023 and this one's brought to you by a little uzi vert woozy yelnik m the prime minister of australia and casey deeply thanks all of you for supporting us on the patreon i have important breaking news there is a brand new corporate office comic strip out which is made by olga and king richard and i regret jumping it's just a single page but if you go to another prank call show.com slash comic you'll see the latest going on with the pla comic strip known as the corporate office i know i mentioned this on the end of the last episode but i meant to mention it on the beginning i completely forgot so there you go another prank call show.com slash comic also if you're a fan of the prank calls that king richard used to do guess what He did another episode of his show not too long ago, so go to anotherprankcallshow.com and listen to, I think it's episode 51? Oh wait, no, no, I just clicked on it. It's episode 100. I think he's counting down now. In other news, I was on the Take Your Pants Off show last night. That's Devin's live show that she does on Wednesdays. I was on there with Snappy Bakes and Bojack and Devin, and we made some calls, and it was kind of fun. So you should go over there and listen to that. You can find Devin's show archive either on her Patreon or prankcast.com slash Devin Anistart. One last thing, don't forget to hang out with us on Reddit and Facebook and Discord. There are links in the description of every single show ever released that has links to the Reddit and the Facebook and the Discord. But then there's some extra ones I've had in there for the past few weeks. Go click on those links. Join us. Say hello. Hello? Hello. Oh, hey. That, that was a quiet hello. Um, who is this? It's Peter from the Domino's Pizza. You ordered a pizza from... <coughs> Sorry. Been smoking weed. You ordered a pizza from us uh, three days ago. Three days ago. You got the Brooklyn pizza, the hand-tossed pizza. Yeah. 
Yeah. What is this about? Uh, the pizza delivery driver. You didn't know him, did you? Uh, no, I did not. Okay. He got in a car wreck and died on the way back from your delivery. He did? Yeah. No. Sh- and, um, I don't know. They, they're they trying to blame you for the whole thing. What? They're trying to blame you for the whole thing. Because if you hadn't ordered the pizza, then he wouldn't have gotten a car wreck and died. Um... I just ordered pizza. I didn't talk to the guy. He just gave it to me. Yeah, yeah, but, like, um, I don't know. Did you ask him how he's doing or? Like, no, he was, he was acting a little You could have said him. Like, he was what? He was acting a little scared for some odd reason. I don't know what it was. Though. Are you a he scary? Wasn't talking, just, are you a scary person? He, no, like, he was, like, he looked a little off. I don't know what it was. I don't know. Like, uh. Uh, may- maybe if you hadn't ordered that pizza, he'd still be alive today. But that the thing is, it could anybody can order pizza. You know? That's true. Yeah, I'm just kidding about the dead delivery driver. None of our delivery drivers died. That's silly. Uh, I just called to find out when you're going to bring the boxes back for recycling. Hello. Boxes. Eric, well, you know your pizza's coming uh, in a box, right? Like a square box. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you need to bring those back so we can hose them down and reuse them for the next customer. Which um, all right. Which which um, Thomas is this? The one you ordered a pizza from right here in town. Ah. We're on your caller ID. Just just look at the caller ID. Would you just wake up or something? All right. Did you just wake up? Okay, that was weird. And I didn't have any kind of plan at all for the dead employee. I just kind of felt bad that I said it after I said it. So I had to backpedal on that one. Anyway, hey, everybody. I'm calling up some numbers here that the sign guy sent to me. I did these on the last hobo sode, which was on Monday, and a lot of them didn't pick up, so I am just calling back the ones that didn't pick up and saying depressing things like, you're responsible for the death of an innocent Domino's pizza driver. How does that make you feel? And he didn't even feel bad. He's like, oh yeah, I thought that guy was off. Something's wrong with that guy. I didn't kill him. It was his weird personality that killed him. Now I want to know who the driver was so I can call up Domino's and ask what his deal is. Maybe tell him to pull up his socks. Hello. Hello, Ben. Ben. Hello. Hi, Ben. Who is this? It's Tyler from Domino's Pizza. Uh, I I delivered your pizza the other day uh, on the 20th. Okay. And my manager said I had to call and apologize. Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry about this, but I peed on your doorknob. Okay. Yeah. On apartment 102. Yep, I peed on the doorknob. I'm so sorry. Why? Um, well, it said contactless and I don't know, you're just you're you're really barking orders at us on the receipt. Leave outside door, don't ring the bell. Exclamation point. So I was just like, "Uh, fuck this guy. I want to pee on his doorknob." So I did. I'm sorry. I was laughing about it with other employees, and my manager overheard us. Your name is Tyler? Yeah, yep. I'm really sorry I peed on your doorknob. Okay, I don't really understand why a simple request warrants something like that. Well, you were just writing with a lot of exclamation points. Like, you wrote CONTACTLESS in all caps. And you put an exclamation point on each end, like you're Spanish, except they're both right side up. I don't recall doing that. Oh, you did. Yeah, you you, you put an exclamation mark before contactless. I think that's which, whatever your system is that does that. Oh no, no, that's I think that you wrote that, and you're bad at English. Uh, excuse me. I'm just saying you're bad at English. Like that's not how 
That's not how it works. You shouldn't write it in all capitals with the exclamation point before contactless. Come on. And then okay. and and then and then you left a, a colon, a uh, parentheses, you know, sideways smiley face, like it's the damn nineteen nineties. I'm trying to be nice. Yeah, but who knows what that means anymore? I had to look it up. So you're like you're like do not ring bell exclamation point and then sideways smiley promise, face. That's well, I hope you have a mixed good day. messages. Bye. Okay, he hung up. The bad thing about all these college people that the sign guy sends to me is that they don't really get upset easily. Not as easily as adults anyway. They just always think they're in trouble. But whatever. There's another one to check off my list from the other day when I was doing pizza calls. Thank you, the sign guy, for finding people's Domino's pizza receipts on the sidewalk and sending me pictures of them. I think if I was going to be a litter bug, I would probably not litter with things that has my name and phone number all over them. Frickin' dummies. Okay, here's the next door Nick number. Hello? Hi, Christina? Yes? It, it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. Hi, Roy. Hi. Hey, um, I hooked up a pirate radio station on the outside of your house, kind of in the bushes, and it's okay. not working. I was wondering if you could just reboot your breakers real quick. Reboot my breakers? Yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with my breakers. Well, no, I, I, plug, I plugged in a pirate radio station into one of your outdoor outlets, and I ran an, ant- an antenna up the side of the house. Why? Well, because it's a secret. You know, it's like a secret pirate. Well, I don't want the, anything on my on my house. Why are oh. you doing it on my house? Okay. Well, I, I just I set it up there late. late one, Why wouldn't you ask me? Um, well, Why wouldn't you ask most me? Most people would say no if I said, hey, can I install yeah. a pirate radio station? Yeah, well, you know, I'm on the other line right now, so... I'll talk to you later. Who, who are you talking okay, to? Rude. Should I just wait for her to be done with her call and click over? Also, what did she mutter at the end? Fucking rude. Oh, she said I'm fucking rude. Okay, that checks out. Oh, man, I have my caller ID set to the Domino's Pizza still, so she's not going to be able to call me back. But you know she's going to be telling her husband, hey, there's a pirate radio station hidden out in the bushes outside of her house. Go find it. It'll be easy. There's an antenna on it. Hello, Dan speaking. Hey, Daniel, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. Pardon? It, it's Roy. I live over on Autumn Lane. Okay. I'm, I'm like doing, Roy? four blocks away. Hey, pretty good. Hey, I set up a, a radio, a pirate radio station on the outside of your house, kind of in some bushes, and um, it stopped broadcasting today. Did Did you do anything with that? You didn't discover that, did you? No, I'm, I'm, I, forgive me here. I, I was just in the middle of a conversation with the client. I'm totally lost. You, you're telling me what now? Oh, a uh, pirate radio station. I set up a cheap... Pirate, pirate radio. Station. Yeah, I, I hooked one up on the outside of your house, and I plugged it into an outside outlet. So I was thinking maybe if you what? just reset your breakers, that would that would get it going again. Pirate radio, what's that? Um, it's, it's a radio station on the FM dial that is 100% illegal. And uh, I'm the one that's running it. So why are you putting it on my house? I didn't want them to come to my house if they tracked it down with their, you know, detection equipment. But I, I, I'm lost here. You you put something on my house that's illegal. Who? Yeah, just just in the bushes. Like they're not going to think it's you if they were to come over. But uh, I was just hoping you could reboot your breakers. You know, in, in your breaker box. And, and that way, that, that should bring the radio station back up. Because it automatically comes back up after a power failure. What? Why you, Why did you choose my house? Uh, You're from Autumn Lane? Y- yeah. It's just, I'm a little confused. It's just random. You know, I'm, I'm just four blocks away. But, yeah, I was, just, I, just, I was looking for the perfect place to set up my pirate radio station. And you had a plug on the outside of your house that was kind of hidden. So I just put it there, and then I put a little bitty antenna up on your roof, up around the, you know, just the bottom of your roof. But it's still, hey, what's your name? It still gets out there. It broadcasts about five miles. But what's your name? Roy. Roy what? Like W-A-T? Your last name is what? 
Yeah. Oh no, it's who? H U. Roy who? Okay, hold on. Let me check out there. What do you check? Oh no, don't don't be looking for it out there. You'll probably mess it up. Just reset your breakers real quick. Well, I don't want to do anything that I don't know what I don't understand what's on. But uh, it's where it's nothing to worry about. It's a very low voltage device. You, you won't even notice it on your power bill. But just yeah, reset the breakers for me. It's in the front of my house. Oh, uh, not the front. Hey, just just don't worry about that part, okay? Uh, you you should be looking for your breaker box inside the house. But what did you? Where is it on the? In my house, well, on the outside of my house. Well, you're not going to find it that easily. It's behind some bushes, kind of. Some in the front? In shrubbery. the back? Sir, please don't look for the pirate radio equipment. I don't want you to take that down. Well, I don't want it on it, my house. Well, it's been broadcasting there for, for like six months now. It hasn't caused any... From my house? Yeah, yeah, I've had it in your bushes for about six months now. Which bushes? Well, I don't want to say because I don't want you taking them down. Is it in that, my back? Sir, go find your breaker box and just reset your breaker. That'll fix it. I was just hoping you could do this so I don't have to come over and reboot it myself. Well, I, yeah. I'm, 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 actually, uh, I'm actually in bed sick uh, this week. I just don't feel like coming over. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm, you know, you're you're telling me to do something, and you you come to my house to legally do something in my house. I don't know what this is all about. Well, you know, it's I'm, it's, I'm, it's I'm not going to mess. With it's this. just technically illegal. I mean, come on, who listens to FM radio anymore? Me. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> what what station do you listen to? I listen to all kinds of uh, radio stations. It's, it's not ninety three point seven, is it? Because that. That would be weird if you listen to that one and it's it's hooked up on the outside of your house. Okay, so you're telling me to just go into my basement and reset my breaker? Yeah, just the main breaker. I'm not even sure. I'm not even, what, plug it, uh, unplug it, and then plug it back in? Yeah, well, you know, it's a switch in your breaker box. It's the big switch up on top. In the In the backyard or in the basement? Oh, probably, I would assume, in your basement. Sometimes they're on the first floor, though. I've never been in your house. Well, I... Um, but, you know, if you, if you reboot that, that'll probably take care of the whole problem and it'll start broadcasting again. And then you can try and find it on your FM dial. Is it still a dial you use for FM or is it more like buttons? Hold on. Ah, shit, now I forgot my... Password? No, I forgot my... Um... Screwdriver? Uh, no, flashlight. Oh. Use, use the one on your phone. Duh. Sorry, that was dumb of me to suggest. No, that was dumb of me not to think of it. Your basement seems messy. What's that? I was just saying your basement sounds messy. Oh, I thought you said it seems messy. I said, how do you know? That's what I said, messy. Because I can hear you moving things around and I heard some cans. I think. No, you're hearing me open the breaker box here. Oh, that's made out of aluminum too. Okay, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, just the very top one. The one that says main. Because that'll turn off all the switches at once. Or you could do them one at a time. And that way you could skip over the big ones. Now, explain this to me. What? How are they going to... What if they come and catch me? Oh, no, they'll, they'll, just, they'll just think, oh, somebody just put this in your bushes. This unprofessional little box and antenna plugged into your out door outlet we get this all the time the last place i had one set up was in a church an abandoned church but they caught on to that well i really don't like it in my bushes oh well can can you when you get a chance come by and um 
put it somewhere else. I really don't want something like okay. that in my house. Okay. All right, I will. But you're going to reset it today. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Did you hit the main one or are you just hitting all of them? Okay, that should have done it. Okay, you turned it off and then back, like the main one? Yeah. Did you have any computers running that you hadn't saved the work on? Oh, shit. Oh. So, I, know, I know you're talking to clients. Oh, my Lord. At least you weren't on a cordless phone because that would have shut off our connection and you wouldn't be able to hear me. <laughs> me anymore. Yeah, it shut off my computer. Oh, no. What were you working on? I'm an artist. Were you drawing stuff? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Don't you have a laptop? No, I work from... Uh... I have a uh, desktop. I do everything old school. You should get a battery for that. Yeah, I know. I was I was I was just illustrating from a picture. Okay, it should take care of it. Okay, thank you so much. I'm gonna go uh, tune in my radio and see if I can hear it. Okay, um, please come by and take it off. Okay, I will. In the meantime, you should listen to ninety three point seven. Okay. I'll try it. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye, Daniel. I love you. Oh, my God. What a nice guy. He's going to let me leave the radio station in his bushes for a few more days. And he flipped his switches and he lost some computer work. I can't believe he didn't think of that before he went to flip switches. But you know what? I bet you whatever software he uses probably auto saves every five or ten minutes. So it's probably still saved in there somewhere. That was a number from next door, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Hello, this is Jake. Hey, Jake. Uh, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. Roy. Yeah, I live way, way over there on Hillside Court. Like two. Oh, blocks. okay. Yeah. Um, I uh, I installed a pirate radio station on the outside of your house because because you have a plug out there, so I just plugged it in. Okay. And it stopped working. Did, did you? Did you unplug that? Uh, I don't know. Because hmm. it's kind of like in your bushes next to the house, and I ran an antenna up, up the side of the house. You installed an antenna on my house. Yeah, well, um, it's, it's more like a... Well, yeah, it's an antenna. When did you but, do this? Uh, about five months ago, I've been running a, a pirate radio station from your house for five months, but it stopped working last night. And I thought maybe, uh, is there, a, did you mess with it or was there a power outage? Cause I think if you reset your breakers, it'll probably just reset their station and turn it back on. I, I have no idea what a pirate, I'm sorry. I, this is just catching me off guard. What is a pirate radio station? Oh, it's just a little box. It's like a little uh, waterproof box in your bushes, and it's plugged into your house on one of the outdoor outlets. And I ran an antenna up, up kind of like it's hidden behind the gutter. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it, just, it broadcasts to 93.7 FM uh, 24 hours a day, and it plays music and talks about how Trump is still our president. Uh, yeah, well, why did you do this at your house? Uh, well, yours is more centrally located for the for the whole neighborhood because you know I only get like a maybe a five mile range, and then I'll, also okay. I, I I don't want, I don't want the FCC coming to my house. Like you, yeah, can, I don't. I, I mean, I'm guessing this is a joke. I don't. <laughs> uh, no, I, I wouldn't kid, sir. I just, um, you know, like if if they come to your house, you can just play dumb and be like, "Oh, some some weirdo must have put this out here. It's not mine, and it won't have your fingerprints on it." So, see, you're safe. Yeah, I I honestly, I mean, I don't I don't get the joke. 
That's not a joke. What, what would be funny about this? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, please don't come to my house and plug anything in without permission. Okay, well, I've already done that. That was five months ago. And I, I've, only sure. come, I've only come to check up on it a, a couple times. But uh, I just, um, I don't know, I thought maybe you found it and took it out. I mean, I'm going to go home and look, and, and if I do find it, I will take it out. I don't, oh, yeah, I don't. Oh, don't do that. that. That's an expensive little box out there serving up radio content to the neighborhood. Okay, yeah, I just, uh, again, I, I'm, I'm thinking this is a joke. I'm not, I'm not uh, I don't understand it, but. I don't understand why you would think it's a joke. It's a pretty dumb joke. Yeah, I, yeah, that's why I don't get it. Okay, well, maybe stop thinking it's a joke. But could you just, like, go reset your breakers real quick? No. Why not? No, I, um, yeah, uh, no, I, yeah, stay out of my yard, my man. Okay, well, I, I come by sometimes just to check on it and make sure it's okay. But you know, like don't don't be pulling stuff down, please. I'll come and I'll come and fix it tonight. Okay, just forget no, I forget I called. Absolutely. Why not? Roy, you said your name is. Yes. You get you gotta see how it, it'd be odd. Well, I know, over but to the house, plug something in and run an antenna. I know. I did it in the middle of the night because I didn't want anyone to see me. You're so full of shit. What do you mean I'm full of shit? Again, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not understanding the joke here, my man. Okay, there's no joke. I don't understand why you're calling me my man. That's weird. What's up? Like, who do you, do you normally call what's people? What's your address, Roy? Do you normally call people my man like that? What's your address, bud? Now you're going to call me Bud? Sure. Whatever you want to be called. That's weird. Like, just call me Roy. My name is Roy. All right, Roy. What's your address? Uh, it's on Hillside Court. Okay. Uh, one zero five. But don't be come, don't don't be hooking up the radio station over here at my house. I've already been I've already been caught once by the FCC, and I don't need them catching me again because they usually find you the second time. Yeah, what's, uh, um, yeah. So you're not going to, you're, you're not going to go flip your breakers for me? No. Okay. Roy, you're an odd duck. I don't, uh, I don't oh. understand this joke here. Okay. Like I said, uh, several times already, it's not a joke. Just trying to get my radio station back up online. Did you change your Wi-Fi password, maybe? Yeah, it must be it. Okay, because it does use your Wi-Fi. You want my new one? Well, I have to come over there and, and, and put it in, so I'll just get it myself. Okay, Roy. <laughs> Again, I, I'm hoping this is a joke, but do not come to my house on my property. Okay, well, except at night, because nobody's out there, so it's not really, I'm not really hurting anything Roy, again, if it's a night. I'm about 99% sure this is a joke, but th th that's how... Uh, you got a weird sense of humor. But. Yeah, th you don't, don't, don't come on my property. Okay, well, you know, just to check, you know, just check on the box and make sure it's, it's still Velcroed up there, it's not getting rained on too much. All right, the, just, the, just to be clear... Just to be clear, do not come on my property. Okay, I won't. But uh, if you happen to see that box out there, look, just assume it's a joke and don't touch it. Please. Hmm. Hello? Jake? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, good. That's good, my man. See how dumb that sounds? 
Jake? Hmm. I'm going to hang up now. You're creeping me out. You got it. All right. Hang up the phone. Hang it up. Jake, hang up the phone. Please? I said please. I'm not ordering you to hang up. I was just saying please. All right, I'm going to hang up. You're making this weird. Jake is not even the name that next door Nick gave to me on this one. It's supposed to be a guy named Brenner or something. So that was nice that Jake didn't ask me to confirm any information since it might have been wrong. Hello. Hi, Talia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, this is Eric from the Homeowners Association. Hi. Hi. Hey, uh, we're turning on we're turning on this machine for Halloween. Uh, it's like a nightmare machine. It's supposed to give everyone nightmares in the neighborhood. And <laughs> we had it running uh, just at low power, but it's very close to your house. Were you having nightmares last night? Are you messing with me? No. I have nightmares every night. Okay, well, were they different last no. night? No, I, we don't live there now. Oh, you're not even in the area? No, it's not a for sale time. Well, shoot. Okay, well, I'm just checking, okay? Calm down. Okay. Um, I'll call yeah. some other people and find out if they had nightmares, no. but we're going to be Did fired. Gonna... What? Well, that is crazy. What is this nightmare machine? Oh, it's it's just a thing. It kind of gets in your head while you're sleeping, uh, but it's pretty much uh, gives people nightmares, and we want to just set that up for Halloween, like maybe the 30th and the 31st. Really? That's hilarious. Yeah, we're going to give everyone in the night in the neighborhood nightmares. Okay. Don't you wish you still wow. lived here? <laughs> yeah. Don't you wish I'm you sorry, still... what was your name? Uh, this... Eric? Yeah, Eric. Yeah, don't you wish you still lived here? No. You could be experiencing this with the rest of the neighborhood. Uh, that's hilarious. But yeah. does it do something? Oh yeah, no, it definitely works. Um, we're we're just we just wanted to make sure we had the antenna angled properly and everything. You know, like it well, was. What do you mean? Like, what does it do? Like, like what is it, like oh, light uh, flashing? Oh no, it, it's it it uh it just it broadcasts on a certain frequency, and uh it, it's just uh you know it's kind of like the same frequency that we dream at, but it's just super high power, like it's. It gets about a five mile radius and it gives everyone nightmares. Why would you do that? Because it's Halloween. We're gonna do it on the thirtieth and the thirty first. Just as a like a what fun about the kids? it's a fun Halloween thing. For the kids and the what adults. About the kids? It's for the kids and the adults. There's no way to to limit who gets the nightmares. It's just all humans. Is this, this is a joke of some sort, right? Oh, you no. It works on dogs too, but it doesn't seem to do much to cats. What's your last name, Eric? Royerson. What? What's the place? Do you, where do you live? Why? Why are you asking? That? You don't even live in this neighborhood. You're just. I you're own just, the house there. Yeah, but you don't live here. Like you're just. What? What are you doing? You down in Florida, Eric, Florida you, or something? No, no. As a matter of fact, I still own the house and I still go there. Okay. And I still have a daughter that's there sometimes. So what's your last name? Why are you calling me? Uh, Royerson. I already told you my last name. I was calling you to ask you about the nightmare machine, but you're not even there. I'm on, I'm on Lincoln Lincoln Court. I'm like two blocks from you, or from where you. There's no Lincoln. What are you talking about? Yeah, how would you know? You don't even live over here. But yeah, it's it's just. Who the fuck are you? I do know. I are you talking about? You know every road in the neighborhood. I do, as a matter of fact, because there's only three. Who the fuck are you? I'm on Indian Trail. Okay. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. See, All I got, right. I got it right this time. Go. All right, well, you hang up that phone right now. Well, my daughter's calling me, so... Well, okay. you can pick up for her. What is she... Is it ringing right now? Can you put me on three-way with you and her? Hello? 
Did you click over to talk to your daughter? Son of a bitch. So I don't remember where I saw this written, probably in a YouTube comment, but someone named Jake wanted me to bring back the Nightmare Machine, which gives everyone within a one-mile radius extra intense nightmares. And I don't remember doing that at all, but it sounds hilarious. So I'm trying as you know, much as I can remember about it, which is pretty much just what you told me. I thought that'd be a fun thing to do for Halloween. Bob. Hello? Hey, Jonathan. Say it one more time. Hello? Hi, Jonathan. This is Jonathan. Oh, hey, it's Brad from the <laughs> Homeowners Association. Okay. Hey, uh, last night we were running a nightmare machine just a couple blocks away from you. Were you experiencing any uh, extra intense nightmares by chance? Who is this? I already told you this is Brad from the <laughs> Homeowners Association. This is not the from the Homeowners Association. Wow, you can't even say it, can you? <laughs> Uh, I know it's funny, isn't it? Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. Messing at with that. people's lives is funny, isn't it? What What do you mean messing with people's lives? Uh, we're you just, know what I'm talking about. You we're, know exactly what I'm talking about. We're turning on the nightmare machine. It's a fun Halloween thing that we're doing this year. Oh yeah, it's, it's funny that you want to play games like this. What do you mean play? It's not a game. Play it's games just, with people's lives. That's what you're doing with people's lives. What do you? You're taking this way too seriously. It's just a nightmare. Everyone's had a nightmare before. Bro, I'm. I know what you guys are doing. What am I doing? You need to stop doing what you're doing. Tell me what I'm doing. You need to stop it. Tell me what I'm doing. You know what you're doing. Tell me what you I'm know doing. What you're and, doing. And I'll stop. I'll stop if you tell me what I'm you doing. You know what you're doing, and you need to stop. What the nightmare machine part? Is, is that what you're talking about? The nightmare machine? Because it's not illegal. It, it's just going to give people extra intense nightmares for Halloween night. It's going to kill somebody. No, it's not. It's going to gonna kill somebody one no, day. No, it's just a radio. Are you the same kind of person that's afraid of 5G? Don't be silly. It's just a frequency in your head while you sleep. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. You yeah. need to stop what you're doing. Oh, I'm not stopping. We're doing, it's going to be a fun thing for Halloween. For all the adults and all of the kids can experience nightmares together. You know you're sick, you know that? What, what's sick about it? It's Halloween. We're supposed to scare people. Bro, don't call me again and don't do what you're doing. Oh, I'm going to do it. Like, we, we've already planned it out. We already rented the machine. You already rented a machine. There's no renting a machine. It's not renting a machine. What, what are you talking about? I'm not about? fucking stupid. Where else would we get the machine? I'm not going to pay for one of these machines to have around all year. Like you must be an idiot. You need help. You need seriously help. You need help. If, like if you're the kind of person to spend that what irresponsibly. Else do I need? Uh, with, what else do I need? With your finances, like you're you're wanting to just buy the nightmare machine, like keep it all year. That that's not financially responsible. That'd be. What like, are you talking about, that'd bro? Be, that, you're, you... That'd be like buying a forklift if you just need a forklift for the weekend. Idiot. I'm the idiot here. I'm the idiot that you guys have been doing this for me for how many years? What? You think it's fucking funny? Giving you, you think it's fucking funny? Giving you nightmares? No, it's not even giving me nightmares. It's what else the shit you could do with it. Don't don't fucking talk to me about how I know what the fuck to do. Put me in the hospital. I put you in the hospital. I don't want to hear. No, I don't want to fucking hear your bullshit. With the nightmare machine. Look, I didn't. We. This is the first year we've done the nightmare machine. Well, you can stop with the nightmare machine with me, okay? okay? Well, no, there's no way to, like, select people out of it. It's just going to blanket the neighborhood in about a, a three-mile radius with, with nightmares. Scare tactics. You think this shit's funny? No, I'm just saying. You think this shit is funny, like, like fucking with people? I'm just saying. You think, you think fucking with people is a funny thing? But I'm not fucking with anybody. Oh, I mean, we kind Yes, you are. You just talked about my finances and you talked about my life. You know exactly what the fuck is going on. Well, no, you're... You know exactly what the hell is going on. I don't want to talk to you about how stupid you are. You're the one that said you would buy a nightmare machine when you could just... I'm not buying a nightmare machine. You're making this shit up. I'm not making this shit up. You're making this shit up. Yes, you are. We bought it from the Halloween store and it's a real thing. It works. Look it up online. 
Okay, I'll go look it up online and see how fucking bullshit you are. I'll look you up online and see how bullshit you are. Aha, I got you there, didn't I? What do you want to look up? Oh, you'll you want you want to keep listening in my phone conversations? Is that what you want to do? Is this this how you fucking live your life by fucking fucking with people? I'm, is this what you do? Is this how you live your life by fucking with people? I have not listened to your phone conversations in years now. Oh, in years. You haven't listened to my phone conversations in years. No, that's a joke. I've never listened to your phone conversations. Anyway, um, you know... What the like, fuck is your problem? What is your problem? Seriously. What is your problem? Why do you have to fuck with me? I just wanted to find out if your nightmares were extra intense last night. And it's nothing... You know, it's not just you. It would be like the whole... Like a couple blocks. We had to turn on low power. And, um, you know, we're just trying to test it and see if it works good. It gave me nightmares. That's for sure. Because it's actually in my garage. You think... You'd think I'd be okay because I'm like in the eye of the storm, but nope. I was terrified all night. So, I know what you guys do about this this shit. What, what I know how you guys work this whole system. I know how you guys turn on this, this certain frequencies. I know exactly what the fuck goes on. Okay. I know exactly what the fuck is going on. Well, it's all in good fun, so calm down. It's it's just for Halloween. I'm not calming down. I'm telling you to fucking stop this shit. This isn't fucking funny no more. It's just a Halloween thing. It's for fun. Yeah, well, hold on. what happens when somebody fucking goes, takes a gun, and goes, kills 20 people? For, what oh, the fuck are you going to do then? Over a what are you going to do then? Over a nightmare? No, over what the fuck you've been doing. What have I been doing? If you don't stop, that's what's going to happen. I don't think you're right about that. Well, what happens when somebody dies and there's 20 people dead because you fucked around with somebody that was mentally ill? What, what do you mean fucked around with anybody? Who am I fucking with? You just said you'd use a machine to fuck with people. That's the Halloween thing. I, I'm with the Homeowners Association. It's just a fun... Bro, you're not with the Homeowners Association. You looked up exactly where I live, and you found out that I live in the homeowners... You're not, I'm not fucking stupid, bro. I'm okay. not a dumbass fucking pee person. Okay. So you can play, you l l stop your fucking game. Okay, well, I'm not just calling you. I called Mrs. Steuben but right before you, and she thought it was amusing. She, she didn't take it personally at all. Uh, I'm calling up, a, a, like, a few people in the neighborhood. Just We're trying to fine-tune the nightmare machine, that's all. But, you know, night nightmares don't make people uh, get up and shoot people with guns. That's ridiculous. You're being silly. Yeah, putting people in the hospital is fucking ridiculous. Making people think they're guy dying is fucking ridiculous. Because they had a nightmare? Bro, I know how this works. I'm not fucking stupid. Well, it's, it's not like in, in Nightmare Before. I know I'm, how I'm it works. It's not, I know how it works. I'm not fucking stupid. I didn't ever say you were stupid. Well, no, I did call you an idiot. Oh, no, you did. Yeah, you I, did. I called you an idiot. I you forgot did. about that. Yeah, because you're a fucking idiot because you know what the fuck you're doing. You think this is fucking funny and you think it's a fucking joke. Look, I didn't... You think fucking with people is... You know, you think fucking with people is fucking funny. I didn't invent the nightmare machine. I just rented it from the Look, Halloween... Look, asshole, I don't give a fuck what the fuck you got to talk about. You need to fucking shut the fuck up and listen to me right now. You need to stop what you're fucking doing and stop with the, uh, the fucking... Uh, this This... Surveillance bullshit that you're fucking doing. Leave me the fuck alone. Well, you pay your HOA fees so you can be surveilled, so calm down. Look, bro, I'm not fucking dumb. It has nothing to do with my HOA fees. It has nothing to do with anything about that. It's let some people talk about the phone calls about, oh, are you gay? Oh, I think you take it in the ass. Oh, what about that phone call? Well, you forgot about that person that called me about that. You forgot about all these other people that have called me and threatened to kill me. Oh, yeah, you forgot about that fucking phone call that I actually reported to the police. You forgot about all that shit. I think you're ma mistaking me with somebody else. Exactly, called. exactly, because there's somebody else that's doing it. It's a whole fucking group of people that want to talk and think this is funny. But yeah, but I'm not a part of that group. I, I'm just with the HOA. I'm just in charge of the nightmare machine. That's all. Okay, where do you live at? Where do you live at? What's your address? Oh, I don't want to tell you. You sound unhinged. 
Well, come on. Let's go find. I want to see this machine you got. No, no, not at all. But I'm on Province Court, but I don't want to tell you my address. You're in Province Court, but you don't want to tell me your address. Yeah, well, that's just my street. That's not my address. But you're yelling at me and stuff, so I, I don't need you coming over here and yelling at me. That, that'll give me. Uh, that'll make me nervous. You're you're using a machine to create nightmares. That's not something that's fucking funny. Well, it's well. I mean, it's a little funny. It gives everyone nightmares on Halloween. Nightmares on Halloween. You're a sick fucking individual. You know that. Well, no, I, God's going to deal with you. God's going to deal with you, and you're going to fucking deal with it. It wasn't even my my idea. It, was like it other doesn't people. matter. God's going to deal with what you're saying, because I'm going to make sure of it. Well, you you know God? Yeah, I do. Well, d- don't tell him what I said, okay? Oh, the, I, I'm sorry. I do pray, so I hate to break it to you. That's going to be part of it. Ah, shit. Well, look, I got to go. I, I, I've got other people to call. I'm calling up 10 people in the neighborhood to surveil them. I mean, to uh, survey them. And, uh, yeah, that's all. Just surveying people about the nightmare machine. And I bet you you're going to be the only one that yelled at me about it. No, you need to stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing right now. This isn't funny. This is a fucking joke. We already paid for the machine, you know, for the rental. Look, I don't give a fuck what you paid for. You need to stop what you're doing. Well, you're saying it's not even real, and I'm not even with the HOA, so I don't know, maybe it's all... Wait, you're not even with the HOA. You're some fucking douchebag that wants to fucking play kids' games, fucking to manipulate people to, to do stupid shit. That's what you're going to do. You're going to create a fucking event that you can't take back. An event? You mean like getting someone to go uh, hit their breaker box stuff, their switches? No, dickhead. Okay, well, I'm just like, gonna... go kill people. I didn't ask you to kill anyone. Please don't kill anybody, especially for me. Well, it just might be in your name. Okay, I'd prefer it not be. But it might be. Okay, well, you know what? If you kill someone, you're gonna have to answer to God, because because you can't hide it from him. I know, but God knows what happened. God yeah. knows who really what started this. Yeah, well, it wasn't me, because I'm just messing around with my nightmare machine here. That's all. Right. You want to play fucking games again? Again? Like you did in February. What did Don't I do? fucking lie to me. What did I you do? You knew exactly what the fuck you were doing. What did I do in February? Tell me. <sighs> Come on, what did I do in February? I you know exactly what you did in February. Okay, tell me then. I need to be reminded because I've done a lot of horrible things. I know, exactly. All right, what you is You need it? help. What is it? You need to be put in jail. What did I do in February? You need to be put in jail. That's where you need to be put in. No, I don't want to be... You off the streets. I don't want to be put in there. So you're not using nightmare machines on people. Look, we're just going to do this every Halloween. It's just on Halloween. This, like, you can call the Halloween store and ask them about it. They'll rent you one. I'm done with this conversation. You need to leave me the fuck alone and leave my family the fuck alone, or I'm going to hurt somebody. Okay. okay? Okay. Don't hurt anybody, because this is the first time I've called you. You just think I'm someone right. else. Right. You're going to fucking, you're going to be in serious shit. Once Look, you because somebody else is bothering you? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. All right, bye. I'm hanging up. The guy just wants to blame everyone else for his problems. And I'd just like to say on behalf of the Nightmare Machine Company that there has never been any link with the Nightmare Machine and people going around killing each other. Oh, wait, is he calling me back? I think he might be. Should I answer? I probably shouldn't answer. He seems a bit unhinged. And I think I already talked to him for like 15 minutes. We'll just listen to his voicemail in a little while. Hopefully I don't forget. Oh my gosh, Jake. Look what you did, asking me to bring back the nightmare machine. That's what happens. People threaten to kill other people in my name. I'm doing a search for his phone number in my email to see if I had his phone number back in February, but I don't see it back then. I just see it here on September 5th when Nextdoor Nick sent it to me. So he's got someone else beaming nightmare machine frequencies at his house at night. 
Okay, I got a call coming in from I don't know who. I'm kind of afraid to answer anything at this point. Hello? hello? Hi, uh, may I speak to Eric, please? Oh, yeah. Hey, it's Eric. Eric, what can I do for you, buddy? You called my wife. Oh, I, I was making prank calls. You're making prank calls? Yeah, yeah. I don't remember what I said to her because I pranked several people. You think it's funny to call a woman with four kids, right? Uh, what does it matter how and many kids she has and, and what her gender is? It doesn't matter? No, Are you I, okay? Do you need the police to make a visit and just maybe chat with you for a little bit? About no, making threats? no, I don't think the police... Uh, no, nobody made threats from here. I think oh, you're, you did, because there's a recorded phone conversation, and you clearly made threats. What was my threat? You insinuated threats. Uh, you insinuated, see, there, you, there we go. It's, it's all breaking down now. I didn't make threats. I insinuated threats. First was of all, the, nothing, nothing, nothing is breaking down. Why are you calling? What, what was the threat? I want to know what the threat was threat. that I made. Tell me the threat. Uh, that you're going to give nightmares to kids and pets? Oh, no, that's, that, that, that's all fine. Like that, That's a nightmare machine. We bought that from the nightmare store. Well, I don't think we're on the same frequency. I agree. I'll just allow I'll just allow police department to handle your threats. Okay. You can explain to them why you're calling people. Oh, I won't pick up for the police. Like they'll call me a bunch, and I just won't pick up. Problem awesome. problem Great. solved. Perfect. All right, Eric. You have a wonderful day. Also, I don't live in your area. I live in South Carolina. Perfect. That's awesome. So you you uh Great. You're probably not gonna have much luck having the police come to my house tonight. But. All right. Great. Wonderful. But good, right, good luck trying. You know, like you can you. you can try. Okay. Awesome. Have a good one. Have fun trying. I thought he was that was that was the crazy guy, right? I thought he was in a different area code. But he says I called his wife. So now I'm just confused. Oh no, that that well, I mean that wasn't the same phone number as the crazy guy. That was a whole different area code. So that must have been just another guy that kind of sounded like him that happens to have a wife with four kids. Remember, everybody, when you're making prank calls, only make prank calls to men that have two kids or less. If you're making prank calls to women with three kids or more, then that's way over the line. What are you doing? Calling up a lady and making threats to her? <laughs> like comic book style threats? I'm going to turn my nightmare machine onto your house. You'll never sleep again, lady. That's like a make-believe threat. I hope the police laugh at that guy. Hey, Brad. Buck Dancer from Rhode Island. Hey. Uh, gonna keep it on the 30 seconds. Been trying to play I all didn't. the episodes, uh, I don't know, prior to 787, I believe, mm-hmm. both on Apple Podcast and on your website, and nothing is playing. Oh, yeah. On Apple, it says... Yeah, the old ones are broken. I'm sorry. I've been meaning to get to those. I switched my site over to a new server, and I had too many uh, audio files on my hosting... I think, on my various hostings, which was causing some problems. So it's just broken. I don't know what to do. I mean, I do know what to do. I, I need some extra time. Maybe I'll try and get some of that fixed this weekend. The video or the podcast you're trying to play is currently unavailable. And on the website, it just buffers and does not play. And it's yeah. somewhere around 787 and prior to that. Well, get over it. Uh, please fix that ASAP. Thanks, Brad. Mr. 33 seconds. Yeah, I, I know exactly what to do. I just, uh, you know, got to take the time to do it. Hey Brad, this is Mano One. Listen, everybody hey. who's hearing me right now, who isn't paying on the Patreon needs to do that just to listen to Hobo 97. The calling that woman and telling her her name can't be Sean because it's a male's name to, you know, pass her husband uh, regarding some United Airlines complaint. <laughs> What's happening? It's so good. Everybody go listen to 97, Hobo 97. And you should uh, really give people a hard time about their name because it seems to really piss them off. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Brad. Bye-bye. Thanks, man one Hobosode 97, everyone. That's where I uh, assume genders and misgender people. And I don't know. That'll probably be the one that gets me canceled for some reason. It sounds like it. I don't remember this one. But really, there's a lady named Sean? That's just weird. All right. Brett the Monkey Boy here. Hey, Root Brett. So, uh, just calling because, you know, we're getting around that time, that uh, trick-or-treat time, and yeah. I think those are some of your most underrated shows are the ones that you are calling different people and, you know, complaining about the Halloween decorations or, yeah. you know, maybe you got a, a razor in the apple or whatever, messing with people by, you know, trick-or-treating. I hope you do it this year, Roy. I get something you know, right after Halloween. I did the Nightmare Machine. Does that count? Um, 
get a show on that. I mean, you know, we talk about Dean Timber, we talk about all these other classics, but to me, them Halloween's very underrated. Okay. As always, Roy. Don't yell at me. Break away. Man, Halloween's coming up fast, too. What am I going to do? Oh, I guess it's not till next week. I've got time. Bread, bread. Bread, bread. Hey. I had to steal that from one person. But that's okay. Snobby guy. Hey, Brad. Show some respect. I know you said 30 seconds, so I'm going to leave it short and sweet. Okay. I love your show. Love what you do. Hopefully, I get to hear from you. Hey, that rhymes. Later, bread, bread. Bread, bread. Okay, bye. That was a sweet poem. Hey, Brad. It's Asheville Will here. Hey. Still chugging through the old archives, and I've gotten to this show from, uh, March 25th, 2016, titled Grocery Store Complainers. Uh-oh. And I was just wondering, are these the infamous You're calls not legally allowed to listen to that one anymore ever since the incident. Calls ...that uh, created the whole debacle with the uh, with the federal authorities. Yeah. And uh, if they are, uh, that's kind of ridiculous that uh, these harmless prank, prank phone calls did. But if they're not, where can I find those? No, oh, you got them. But, uh... Thank you, Brad. You're on the right ones. And then uh, I think there's two in a row, probably. And there was going to be three, but my access got revoked to that database. For some reason, it got shut down. Can't imagine why. But it wasn't so much the prank calls that got me in trouble. It was more the database access because they thought I hacked their database. And I still don't know if that's what happened or not. They never told me if that guy that I was talking to was a hacker or an employee I think he must have been a hacker because they would have known who it was if it was an employee, right? Brad. Hey. Hey, sorry about my... Oh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I always forget that there's new listeners that don't know any of this stuff. But the grocery store pranks, those got me in trouble with the FBI. The FBI raided my house. I spent five years doing this prank call show under the watchful eye of federal probation. It was good times. Brad. Hey. Hey, sorry about my audio on the last one. I drive... A lot. Okay, I'll play the last one. So I'm only going to play one of them. They're each a minute long. Hey, Brad. It's uh, Butthole Bandit out here. Yeah. Pretty sure there's more of us. Why are you apologizing for your quality? It sounds fine. No. I love that damn name, so I use it for a lot of stuff now. That's good. But out here in Oregon, I've been calling, leaving you a few messages now. I just want to let you know, I uh, did another long drive today. I drive for work. I bring the Oregonians some uh, some goodies, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I'm yeah, talking. DoorDash. But today is listening to episode 543, and you were Rufus, and you were calling. Are you playing my show in the background? That's annoying. What are you doing? People, I'm telling them they need a wheelchair ramp. And then this one lady, I'm like, I know 15 crippled people. She had that shit loaded. Anyway, I just thought that was funny. I just stopped at a rest stop, and I was like, oh. I'm going to tell that motherfucker I thought that was funny. Good. So, thank you for the last. I'm glad you did. The, you know, the fun and getting us through all our drives and long hours everywhere. So, yeah. anyway, love you. Anytime. Bye. Stay back. No, you can't make me. And I'm just going to assume that the second voicemail was a bunch of apologies for that awful, awful audio quality that we all just experienced. I would like to personally apologize to everybody that had to hear that. Hey, Brad, this is Chicago. Hey. Just picked up the book from Amazon called How to Lose Weight, Patterson Way. Yeah. By, like, legend himself, Frank Patterson. Good old Frank. What a book, Brad. What a book. Well, I didn't write it. It's Frank. It changed my life. Frank Patterson did it. I'm looking it up right now on Amazon. I didn't know that was still up. And um, I can't remember who made this. Or maybe I remember. Was it Jonathan? I'm going to guess Jonathan or Austin made this fake Frank Patterson book that I purchased once and read on camera. I don't know where that video is anymore, but I'm going to look at the most recent reviews on this. Uh, there's one in here from Bud. It says, great book. The people that complain about this book obviously haven't read it. Someone named Carter says, hate my gym, but wow, what a blessing. First off, it's ridiculous for a gym to force me to purchase this book. I never did find anything about forcing me to buy a book in my contract. However, wow, Frank is truly a master of his craft. I'm 6'1 and weighed 140 pounds. After Frank, I now weigh 100 pounds within just a few months. 
I love you, Frank. You're a blessing. And that's all of them from this year. I don't know. I guess I could read this one from 2022 that I probably already read at some point. I was originally so upset about being forced to buy this book for my gym, but when it came in the mail, I began reading it, and it's the best book I've ever read. The chapter titled Lose Weight So You Don't Crush Your Wife in Bed was great, but not as good as the Stop Being Fat, You Filthy Animal. That's even better. That was from David. Thanks, David, for the nice reviews to Frank Patterson's book. I think we're going to wrap it up there and get going. So thank you to the sponsors of today's show, like Lil Uzi Vert, Woozy, Yelnick M, the Prime Minister of Australia, and Casey Deeply. I appreciate all of you for listening to my show and supporting my show on the Patreon and other things. And thank you, everybody, for the support. Don't forget to join our Discord and our Reddit and our Facebook groups. There's always lots of crazy PLA stuff happening in all of those. So join those. Go listen to another prank call show and go listen to the latest episode of the Take Your Pants Off show. I'm on that one. Really, I think I'm on the last four episodes of the Take Your Pants Off show. Not for the full episodes, but I'm on there a little bit every week, maybe for an hour or two. Come and say hi one of these weeks. All right, that's the end of today's show. Bye, everybody. I'm just a robot and I know my place. So let me get this straight. You are assigned to our store and you're looking through our security cameras and you feel unsettled that my cashier is looking directly at the cameras. So you therefore feel like he's staring directly at you.